Hello and happy off season, Spice Lords. This is Sean Evans checking in. Hot One season six, it's right around the corner. The premiere is next month, but that's not why you're here. I know why you're here. It is time for the Hot Ones season six hot sauce lineup reveal. And this year, only one sauce is keeping its spot. It is an extreme table makeover, Scoville edition. And you know what that means for the other nine? It is out with the old and in with the new. Last year's lineup was probably the closest we've ever come to a platonic ideal for what the hot sauce lineup should be. A triumph in sequencing, in spice, in flavor. But if we've learned anything from Kobe Bryant, it's when you reach one peak, there's another peak. And this year, we just keep climbing. And I know everyone's always complaining. They whine. Sean, we want it hotter, 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 hotter. And this year we're cranking things up significantly, especially in the front half where we'll be lighting people up in ways that you've never seen before. And we're going to start with the Howler Monkey. Taking over the beloved no big deal slot on the board is Howler Monkey Original, a Panamanian style take on the tangy vinegar based hot sauce category, the peppers, scotch bonnet, the flavors, garlic and turmeric. The first pitch of the game is just a fastball right over the plate. Strike one. And then in at number two, it's Heartbeat Hot Sauce Company's Red Habanero. Let's take a moment to admire this beautiful bottle. First, squeeze technology. Then you have this lovely heart chili pepper graphic. It is so beautiful to look at. I love a good label detail. And get this, it's from a place called Thunder Bay, Ontario. Shout out to Canada, shout out to Maddie Matheson, a Hot Ones hot sauce number two spot, if ever it existed. And then at number three, one of the more unique sauces we've ever had on the table. Pirate's Lantern pepper sauce, created by a couple of brothers from Brooklyn and based on a family recipe from Barbados. A punch of mustard, a pop, pop, pop of Scotch bonnet peppers, an aromatic hit of horseradish. And what's that? There's rum in it. Maybe Tyra was telling the truth when she said that she got drunk on hot sauce. And then at number four, Torchbearer. It's a name that the Hot Ones fans recognize, and it's back. Ghost pepper, it's main source of heat, but it's balanced with a hint of honey sweetness and apple cider vinegar, and I know what you're thinking. Sean, thanks for introducing the first four sauces, but what the hell has happened to Hot Ones Fiery Chipotle? Spice Lords, we need to talk. Today we say farewell to one of our own. After four glorious seasons, it's a tearful goodbye to Hot Ones Fiery Chipotle. A guest favorite, a fan favorite, hell, my favorite. But if there's one thing that I've learned in this crazy game called hosting a chicken wing show on YouTube, it's that change is good. Evolution is necessary. So it's with a touch of sadness, but a soaring feeling of gratitude that we say farewell to Hot Ones Fiery Chipotle and boom, welcome to the family, Los Calientes. And dare I say it's even tastier than its predecessor. We worked with Heatness to dial in that California meets Mexico flavor profile, went through over 50 iterations before finally settling on this elixir of the gods. Expect a smoky blend of serrano and habanero chilies, sweet fruit, and tart tomatillo. Mmm, that is good copy. And if you're a subscription box subscriber, you know the drill. You're gonna get Los Calientes first, and for the rest of you, you get your chance when we drop the bottle in mid-June. But that's enough about Los Calientes, because the flavor train just keeps moving, and we're on to the back half and number six. It's another maker you've seen before with a sauce you haven't, Spice Lords. Say, Guten Tag to Bravado's Black Garlic Carolina Reaper sauce. That's right. No and Chris thought it'd be a good idea to trigger my Carolina Reaper PTSD two thirds of the way through every show. I'm so excited. I can't wait, but I'm told that this bad boy is balanced out with a kiss of maple syrup and the rich savory base notes of black garlic. In the number seven spot, it looks like a bottle of Johnny Walker Black Label, but this ain't no civilized fireside chat. This is hot ones, damn it. So you know we had to crank the thing up to 13 with Bunster's Black Label, our first ever hot sauce straight out of Australia. And it is packed with culinary ingredients, orange juice, scorpion and bird's eye chilies, goji berries. We very much welcome Bunster's from down under to the Terror Dome. 
And speaking of terror, the bomb is back. Guests complain about it. Our hot sauce guru says that it's terrible and that we should replace it immediately. But just like the laptop from my cold, dead hands. And listen, I do not want to eat another chicken wing with the bomb on it. I really don't. But I'm a humble TV host, and I have to do what's best for this show. And in this case, the best thing for Hot Ones is to keep the bomb beyond insanity, putting guests on their heels, knocking them up against the ropes, testing their will to complete the Hot Ones challenge. So it, 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 it keeps its place on the table. But as you know, as you can see, you've been peeking at it. We have a new number nine. Hellfire Hot Sauces, Fiery Fool has all the proper credentials for the number nine slot. Let's read off this pepper list. Seven Pot Primo, Carolina Reapers, Trinidad Scorpions. It is a hot sauce gathering of the juggalos, and you even have a fucked up clown juggling Carolina Reapers on the label, and that tells you everything you need to know about this hot sauce. All right, at number 10, you think you know, but you have no idea. Sure, it looks like the good old last dab, but you know what smoking Ed's like. He'll never leave well enough alone. And so brand new for season six, we're rolling out the double X edition of the last dab, featuring not only regular Pepper X, but also the new mutant breed chocolate Pepper X. What's the difference? Well, I'm happy that you asked. It's all in the heat profile. Double X, it hits you right away, then it disappears, only to come back and bury you again. Throw your hands up like you're at a damn DMX concert because it's about to get crazy. We'll be testing our new sauce out on celebrities who have nothing to gain and everything to lose before getting you a bottle in July. The peppers, they're growing at Smokin' Ed's Farm right now. Last dab, double X edition, coming this summer, and there you have it. It's the season six lineup. The new characters in our fun house, the paintbrushes we'll be using to make our absurd internet art. If you wanna pick up the trading cards, Heatness has you covered. You can always take a look at past seasons, old hot sauces, just find something that you like. Season six, let's do this one together, Spice Lords. It's coming at you, it's coming at you quick. See you next month. <laughs> well, there you go. That's a wrap. Just another video of Sean alone screaming at the screaming internet to the camera. Now, Carolina Reaper is that the hottest pepper in the world? It is the hottest pepper in the world. Very impressive. You ever uh, put one in the boot? No, I think that'd be a bad idea. I think, I think I just wrote a really great bit for this show for you. Yeah. Yeah.